In September last year, Alamedine associate Trent Jeske, 23, was arrested at his home in Guilford after police raid and discovery of a loaded handgun. The raids were targeted to stop the ongoing tit-for-tat war between the Hamzi and the Alamedine clans. Jeske was charged with six offenses including possessing an unauthorized firearm, a fray, two counts of possessing ammunition without holding a license and not complying with COVID directions. He was also involved in dial a dealer drug operation. Later on, Jeske was charged with supplying methamphetamine and knowingly or recklessly directing the criminal group. He was also accused of receiving benefits from said criminal activities, namely by way of a diamond-encrusted Rolex watch. Trent Jeske is currently behind bars. Officers allege that Jeske is a member of the Ready for War gang, also known as R4W, which has direct and strong links to the Alamedines. This week, officers from the crime branch paid him another visit in his prison cell, and slapped him with some more charges. This time Mr. Jeske has been accused of performing a sexual act on a dog and will now face one count of animal cruelty. The charges came about after officers discovered a video of the incident on a mobile phone. Officers also charged him with two counts of carrying out a sexual act without consent and one count of sexually touching another person without consent. However other details have not yet been disclosed. If found guilty, he faces a penalty of up to $44,000 or one year imprisonment. In July this year Jeske's mother Jeanette Jeske was also arrested after she was charged with providing a fraudulent COVID-19 vaccination certificate to her workplace, being a primary school in Sydney's West. A school employee with strong connections to the underworld has been arrested in Sydney, accused of using a fake COVID-19 certificate for work. A police crackdown on organised crime has produced an unexpected catch. A Sydney school employee charged with using a fake COVID vaccination certificate. The alleged misdemeanour discovered during covert surveillance that saw half a dozen tactical officers at her door. Jeanette Catherine Jeske, 55 spent a night behind bars after she was arrested by strike force sugarcane at her Maryland's home in Sydney's West. Jeske, who is the mum of Alamedine crime clan member Trent Jeske, was accused of handing over a fraudulent COVID certificate to Plumpton Primary School located at Bottles Road, where she worked as an administrative manager. She faced Fairfield local court with her barrister, Winston Terracini, and pleaded not guilty. The barrister was very unhappy with the sugarcane squad and told the court, Ms. Jeske was filmed being dragged from her home in handcuffs by heavily armed officers. This has got to stop, she was threatened by these hooligans. They trashed her house after they searched it and videoed her being arrested. Terracini said the charges against the mum were outrageous and made up. Footage showed tactical officers of Task Force Sugarcane armed with a battering ram banging on the door of Jeske's home. Moments later she was dragged out of the home in handcuffs as she tried to cover her head with her Nike jacket. This was the work of Strike Force Sugarcane which was established in July 2021, to investigate the activities of a Southwest Sydney-based organized criminal network. Jeske was charged with dishonestly obtaining financial advantage, dealing with property proceeds of crime less than $100,000 and participating in a criminal group contributing criminal activity. Police allege she received the fake vaccine certificate through her connections to the crime group, which was identified as Ala Medin's alleged drug syndicate. Jeanette was granted bail and while on bail, she must be of good behavior, stay at her address, attend Maryland's police station weekly, not go within one kilometer of an airport and not contact certain people. She will be fined $20,000 if she breaches any of her bail conditions.